Everyone, uh, someone was asking if I could do a Unity program where I show you how to control the volume of something uh, based on a, a slider on screen. So since I have the headphones on here, it, it might be difficult for you to hear what's going on. But let me run this program. Uh, a little slider will pop up, and then I'll just drag it up and down. And then as I drag it up, you'll hear the music. And as I drag it down, the music will fade out. Okay, you probably couldn't hear that, but uh, anyway, trust me, uh, as you drag the slider up, the music goes up. As you drag the slider down to zero, the music mutes. Okay, so let's take a look at how we did this. All right. I just have an empty scene here, and I'm just going to go ahead and create an empty game object. All right. And now there's, you know, the game object is not at this point creating any, uh, any audio, so we'll have to go to Component, Audio, Audio Source. Okay, Audio Source has been added. Uh, you can see here that the camera, you also need a, an audio listener in your scene. Usually the camera has an audio listener component already attached to it. Okay. Once we've attached the audio source to a, an object, you'll see the little speaker icon on it. And now there's a few settings we need to uh, change here. So I'm going to drag an audio clip onto the audio clip section here. All right. And then um, you could change this audio clip in scripting if you wanted to. Uh, it's set to play on awake, means it'll uh, play as it starts. Uh, and uh, the other thing is I'm going to turn on looping, so that it just keeps playing over and over again. You can see here the volume goes from 0 to 1. All right, so right now there's just this uh, sound clip attached to it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Now I'm not hearing anything, so why is that? All right, so if we go under 3D sound settings you'll see here that there's a roll-off, which means that the farther away the object gets, the sound kind of fades out, and the closer it gets, the louder the sound gets. But as you can see here that the, the roll-off that we're given, given, you have to be pretty much like right on top of this object to be able to hear it, because it falls off very quickly. So I'm going to go and select, um, I'll just select a linear roll-off. Okay, so now you have to be a little bit, you know, closer than... Um, you know, basic, basically, um, it, it just falls off at a much more reasonable rate. So I'm going to play this, and I can hear the audio fine. Okay? If you didn't want any roll-off at all, you could just delete one of these keyframes, and then you would basically, no matter how far away the object was, it would always play at the same rate. Okay, so that uh, sets up our little um, audio player there. So now let's uh, drop on the script that controls the slider, okay? So I'm just going to drag the script on here. And let's take a look at the script. It's very simple. So, um, actually, I don't even need this. Okay. All we need is just a few lines of code here. So we have a variable called 8slider value, which is the, ver uh, the value we're going to get back from the slider. And then we have this line of code here, which creates the slider. All right. So basically, all this does is creates a rectangle for the slider to live in. Um, assigns the uh, output value to this variable here and you give it a minimum and maximum value so if you want the slider to go from 0 to 100 for example you would just change this to 100 in this case uh, this is perfect for us a uh, value of 0 to 1 because the volume component or audio uh, source component has a volume setting that goes from 0 to 1 so whatever we get back from each slider value we can just plug it right into audio.volume equals the a slider value. I also created this little um, label here where I can just kind of monitor the value of that um, uh, slider. So uh, now when I go ahead and play this everything should be in place. And again you can't hear it but right now we have a value of zero so it's muted and I'm just going to drag this up and I can start hearing the music. Okay and now at a value of one the music is playing at full speed. Okay, so the final thing you might want to know is what if I want the slider to go up and down? We'll just go into the, the scripting reference, and then under GUI there's another one called vertical slider, which has the exact same usage. It's just that you would take this rectangle and you would just create it uh, more kind of, you know, the rectangle dimensions would be more vertical than horizontal, and you would just use GUI.vertical slider instead of horizontal slider. 
So I uh, hope that helps you out.